Let's talk about the two cybersecurity professional certificates that I would take if I had to restart my cybersecurity career. The first one is gonna be the Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificate offered by Coursera. This certificate will teach you valuable skills like Python, SQL, and Linux. It's also geared towards preparing you for the Security Plus exam, which is also a highly sought after entry-level cybersecurity professional certificate. This certificate is also really valuable because it covers so many different aspects of cybersecurity. The second one is gonna be the Microsoft Cybersecurity Analyst Professional Certificate, also offered on Coursera. This certificate will give you a foundational understanding of different cybersecurity concepts as it relates to Windows operating systems. You'll also learn how to secure and use Microsoft Azure, which is pretty much Microsoft's cloud computing platform. These two professional certificates will give you a foundational understanding and equip you with the skills and knowledge that you need to perform at an entry-level role. So can you get a job after taking professional certificates like the ones on Coursera? There is no certificate or certification out there that will guarantee you a job. But the Coursera professional certificates are geared towards entry-level professionals and they're looking to equip you with the skills that you need in order to perform at an entry-level role. On top of that, these professional certificates are a great way for you to learn some new skills and boost your resume to make yourself more marketable and attractive to different employers. These certificates also come with capstone projects that you can use to add to your resume and explain during interviews to show that you have the skills and knowledge necessary to perform at an entry-level role. Overall, these professional certificates on Coursera are going to be a great way for you to kickstart your career and kickstart your learning journey. Let's talk about when you should consider earning a professional certificate in cybersecurity. Professional certificates like the ones you'll find on Coursera are typically a great opportunity with those who have no prior experience in cybersecurity. It's completely beginner friendly and you don't need to have any prior knowledge or experience in cybersecurity to get started. The professional certificates will allow you to quickly gain technical skills and knowledge to be able to perform at an entry level job. On top of that, they're taught completely online and they're really flexible so you can build them around your own schedule. They're also really affordable and you pay by a month to month basis and you only pay for what you use. Overall, professional certificates that you'll find on Coursera are going to be a great way for you to break into cybersecurity. Go ahead and check out my full video on my channel. Let's talk about some of the main benefits of earning a degree in cybersecurity. The first reason is because a lot of employers are still requiring a four-year degree when considering applicants. This is because degrees signify that you have an ability to learn and stay disciplined, and these are some characteristics that they're looking for when hiring employees. Degrees typically come with a wider range of courses and also goes deeper down when it comes to cybersecurity concepts. When you're looking to further your career in cybersecurity, when you look for those senior roles like senior senior manager, director, senior director level roles, typically most of them have some form of degree. Overall, I think degrees in cybersecurity still hold a lot of value. Make sure you guys check out the Coursera online bachelor's and master's degree programs that they have to offer. Like and subscribe for more cybersecurity related content. Every position in cybersecurity is going to require a specific set of qualifications. Here are just some specific skills that I would recommend that you take a look into if you're an entry level career applicant. Write down a bullet point or two talking about your foundational understanding of networking technologies. Get a bullet point talking about your solid understanding of programming content concepts and maybe some experience with particular languages that you have learned. Write a bullet point or two talking about the various technologies that you've had previous experience with. Write a bullet point or two listing the operating systems that you have interfaced with. Write three to five bullet points overviewing various projects that you have worked on. How can you acquire these skills? I recommend providing your contact information at the top of the resume followed by a mission statement overviewing the position you are attempting to seek your previous year's experience, followed by your education and qualifications, then followed by your key skills and projects section. If you're just beginning in the cybersecurity industry or you're trying to improve your skill set, how can you acquire these skills? There are plenty of learning resources out there and it can be difficult to discover which one is right for you. One resource I do recommend checking out is Coursera. Coursera is a learning platform which hosts online courses and certificates taught by a top university 
communities and companies. It offers access to thousands of courses for free or affordable price plans. For cybersecurity on Coursera, you can find several high quality structured learning programs. There are several key skills you can work on to help boost your resume, including learning programming languages such as Python, the foundations of cybersecurity, use of security tools, and understanding the different types of attacks. On Coursera, you can find courses which help you build these necessary skills for your resume, and you can even find some for free. You can get started with Coursera by exploring that career guide and signing up for one of the subsequent seven-day free trials as mentioned before. Starting off with technical skills, this is kind of what I would do if I'm going back and pursuing cybersecurity, IT fundamentals, learning the basics of computer hardware, networking, TCP IP stack, the OSI model, uh, and file system, memory management, and the basics of the Windows and Linux kernel. The next layer is computer networking. Computer networking will allow you to understand how data is transmissioned over the internet and how you can apply proper security measures to secure that data. The next layer is cybersecurity foundations. Having a familiarity of the basics of cybersecurity can really help you row into a certain position once you decide what that may be. The next section is workplace skills. Communications or workplace skills are as important as your technical skills, building a portfolio, and join clubs, meetups, or your local conference chapter. Just be an active participant, be helpful, and uh, share within these communities. It can be quite beneficial. So I've talked about some technical and workplace skill strategies. Now, where can you actually learn these? One resource I highly recommend is Coursera, specifically their certificate programs. I do recommend exploring Coursera's cybersecurity career guide. Many of the certificate programs on Coursera offer a structured learning environment where you can learn and acquire the various technical skills and workplace skills. Coursera hosts certificate programs from some of the top universities and companies such as the Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificate, the Microsoft, and the IBM Cybersecurity Analyst Professional Certificate. Many students have reported positive career outcomes due to taking the certificate programs on Coursera. You get access to interview preparation, uh, such as resume review, learning how to write nice resumes, going through mock interviews. You can explore Coursera's free cybersecurity career guide and sign up for the seven day free trial to learn more about those certificate programs. Red teaming might be for you. Are you somebody with a lot of free time that likes to tinker? If so, then it might be for you. So if you are interested in this side of cybersecurity, then I would recommend a great course on Coursera. It is called Ethical Hacking Essentials by EC Council. Now, EC Council is a household name in the world of cybersecurity, and it's been bringing real world education courses and certifications to IT professionals for years. In this course, you're gonna learn the fundamentals of ethical hacking, identifying threats, network level attacks, such as session hijacking. Man, that just sounds cool, right? Even more, you're gonna learn the OWASP top 10 to teach you the fundamentals of web application penetration testing. You're gonna learn mobile attacks, IoT attack, social engineering techniques, password cracking, and much more. The next certification that I recommend is the ISC Squared Certified in Cybersecurity Specialization. This five course series will help you learn security principles, incident response, access controls, and network security. These topics are the basics, but important and needed to begin in the field of a blue team. The last topic in the specialization is security operations, where you're gonna learn the best practices and what security operations are, as you may have heard it called, a SOC. Understanding the different sides of security can be confusing. I know it was for me, really, when I first started. I hope I was able to solve this dilemma for you. If you're not proactively seeking learning opportunities and building relationships with mentors and peers, you could be hindering your professional growth and development. Therefore, it is very crucial to take advantage of various resources and learning platforms available to you. Thankfully, Coursera provides an excellent platform for cybersecurity professionals to not only enhance their knowledge through a wide range of courses, but also connect with a network of like-minded learners and experienced professionals. This community can provide valuable guidance and support as you progress in your career, making your journey smoother and more fulfilling. It is more advisable to focus on developing 
developing and enhancing your skills, knowledge, and experience. By doing so, you will become a more valuable asset to your current or future employer, which will naturally lead to better compensation and opportunities for career growth. Fortunately, there are many resources available to help you elevate your cybersecurity skills and expertise, with one of them being Coursera, which offers an extensive selection of cybersecurity courses and professional certificates. These courses can provide you with a solid foundation in various cybersecurity domains such as network security, cryptography, cloud security, and ethical hacking, amongst others. By completing these courses relevant to your cybersecurity goals and interests, you will not only expand your knowledge and skills, but also, in turn, increase your earning potential over time. First, let me preface the rest of this video by letting you know that a certificate is not a certification. While the two terms might seem interchangeable at first glance, they actually mean two different things in the world of cybersecurity. A certificate is typically awarded upon completion of a training course or program and demonstrates that the individual has gained a certain level of knowledge or skill in a particular area. On the other hand, a certification is a more formal and rigorous process that involves passing an exam or a series of exams to demonstrate mastery of a particular skill or job role. I'd like to acknowledge the valid concerns people have regarding the cost and quality of cybersecurity courses and professional certificates. It's true that not all these courses and programs are created equal as some may fall short of expectations. However, it's important to recognize that there are reputable platforms that provide high quality cybersecurity courses and certificates that can be incredibly valuable for aspiring cybersecurity professionals. Having been in various different cybersecurity roles in my early career, I'll be sharing with you the top four entry-level roles in cybersecurity. These roles will typically fall into the following, an engineer versus an analyst, as it primarily differentiates the roles that build, aka an engineer, compared to the roles that use those tools to do hands-on work, aka an analyst. The roles we'll be discussing in today's video include cybersecurity analysts slash SOC analysts, junior pen testers, cybersecurity engineers, and compliance analysts. Entry-level analysts may collaborate with more senior or specialized cybersecurity roles to implement security policies and procedures, conduct security assessments, and help maintain security tools and technologies. One of the ways I recommend learning the foundational cybersecurity skills you'll need, plus experience with projects and labs, is by taking cybersecurity courses and professional certificates available on Coursera. Coursera provides access to a variety of professional certificate programs, team training, and short courses to help learners explore different areas in cybersecurity and beyond. These are self-paced, 100% online courses designed to help learners acquire specific skills and knowledge you can learn from anywhere, anytime, whether you're working full-time, have family commitments, or working through a career change, you can fit learning on Coursera into your schedule. One of the ways I recommend learning the foundational cybersecurity skills you'll need, plus experience with projects and labs, is by taking cybersecurity courses and professional certificates available on Coursera. Coursera provides access to a variety of professional certificate programs, team training, and short courses to help learners explore different areas in cybersecurity and beyond. These are self-paced, 100% online courses designed to help learners acquire specific skills and knowledge in various fields like cybersecurity, IT, analytics, and more. One of the top cybersecurity professional certificates on Coursera is the Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificate Program. It is designed specifically to help you gain the foundational skills and knowledge needed to start a career in cybersecurity in roles like cybersecurity analysts, Security Operations Center Analysts or SOC Analysts, and more. Once you complete the program, you'll also get access to the CompTIA Security Plus exam and training at a discounted price and a dual credential once you complete both the professional certificates and the Security Plus certification exam. You'll also get access to career resources like resume reviews, mock interviews with interactive tools, planning your career with Coursera's job search guide, and access to connect with 150 plus employers in Google's employer consortium when you complete the course. What are the best cybersecurity skills you need to learn to make your resume stand out? If you're looking to kickstart a career in cybersecurity as a beginner, there are some key skills you'll want to get under your belt based on my experience in different cybersecurity roles in my early career, you'll want to focus on the specialized core functions of cybersecurity teams 
to decide what skills to learn. This will usually fall under these two primary areas, the red team or the blue team. For red teamers, you may be most interested in learning the foundations of Linux and popular pen testing tools like Wireshark, Nmap, and Metasploit. If you're interested in blue teaming, you'll want to focus on learning how to use security information and event management systems, or SIEMs, analyzing logs, and vulnerability management. On top of this, having some foundational scripting or coding skills using Python or PowerShell will provide you with the technical skills you need to write your own scripts, automate processes, and communicate better with development teams. One of the biggest questions I get from beginners or just starting out is around the topic of structured learning and DIY learning. Structured learning typically includes bootcamp programs, online courses, and anything with a structured curriculum and projects that are pre-planned out. DIY learning, it's much more looser and usually self-directed learning using online videos, resources, or documentation used by the learner. This will highly depend on the person and how they stay motivated to learn which is the key thing here. Personally, while I think DIY learning is easier to get started with, it's also much harder to stick with. This is another reason why I recommend courses on Coursera, which consolidate the resources and information that you need to know all in one place, and it also makes it easier for you to just focus on learning. 